very interesting let's solve this together come closer we are asked to solve for the value of n and n is what a real number so how do we go about this first of all we need to bring out a constant and the only way to do that is it's not the only way but let's do it this way let's divide through by 6 to the power of n okay so if we divide this by 6 to the power of n is equal to what sorry and also divide this by 6 to the power of n we will have what 9 to the power of n minus 4 to the power of n divided by 6 to the power of n is equal to 1 okay now recall that a minus b raise them um, all over c is same thing as a over c minus b over c okay so they are sharing the same denominator let's distribute the denominator for both of them so if we do that we will have 9 to the power of n over 6 to the power of n minus 4 to the power of n over 6 to the power of n is equal to 1. Okay, also, let's recall the law of indices that states that a over b raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n over b to the power of n. Okay, so this is already in this form, so let's put it in this form. So, if we do that, we will have 9 over 6 raised to the power of what? n minus 4 over 6 raised to the power of n. Okay, so let's reduce this to its lowest term. When 3 divides 9, you are going to have what? Um, 3. If we divide 6, you are going to have 2 raised to the power of n, right? Minus this place, when 2 divides 4, you have 2. When you divide 6, you have 3. So you have 2 to the power, 2 over 3 to the power of n. This is equal to 1. This is equal to 1. All right. Now, looking at this, there is something we can actually do so that we'll have the same thing here and here. And we can name whatever we got a variable and then solve for it, okay? So, um, we can change this to 3 over 2, but that means we are going to introduce 1 over yes because a over b okay is same thing as one over b over a right so that means we can rewrite this as so if we write three over two raised to the power of n minus one over what three over two raised to the power of n is equal to one okay at this point we have something the same thing here and here so we can call it a variable so let's 3 over 2 to the power of n be equal to y okay so if we say that that means our equation this equation becomes y minus 1 over y is equal to 1 okay now if we solve this if we solve this this is y over 1 now the lcm of this is what y now, when 1 divides y, you have y. y times y is y squared. Minus, when y divides y, you have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Is equal to 1. All right. So, this is same thing as 1 over 1. Now, let's cross multiply. If we do that, we will have y squared minus 1 multiplied by 1. We still give you y squared minus 1. Is equal to y times 1. We still give you y. Okay, now let's bring this in because you can see that we have formed a quadratic equation. So if we bring this plus y, uh, plus y in, it becomes minus 1, okay? Minus y. So we have y squared minus 1 minus y is equal to 0. Now let's arrange this very well. If we do that, we have y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, now what do we do next? Mm, let's use the quadratic equation formula and solve for y. All right, recall that we are not looking for the value of y, rather we are looking for the value of n. Okay, so um the quadratic equation formula states that your y since y is what you are looking for is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac 
all over 2a okay so our in this case now the coefficient of y squared is our a which is one coefficient of y is our b which is minus one and coefficient of and our c is the constant which is minus one so let's substitute this into this equation to get the value of what y so our y is equal to minus b minus minus one will give us plus one plus or minus square root of b squared that is minus one squared which will give us one um minus then four multiplied by a our a is one multiplied by c our c is minus one divided by two multiplied by a which is one still give us two right okay now y is equal to one plus or minus square root of one plus four because what we have here is four times minus one will give us minus four and one minus minus four is sent as one plus four okay divided by two so our y is equal to one plus or minus square root of five over two okay now let's go ahead and solve for our what solve for the value of our y so here we have two values of y yes the first one is that y is equal to one plus root five over two that is y one now y two is equal to one minus root five over two okay now recall recall that our y is what our y is uh, equal to three over two to the power of n okay so for y one for y one we are going to replace this y now with 3 over 2 to the power of n. So we are going to write 3 over 2 raised to the power of n, okay, is equal to the first value 1 plus root 5 all over 2. All right, that is for this. Now for this one, for y2, it's going to be 3 over 2 raised to the power of n is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. But in this case, we're not going to make use of this because this is going to give us negative. That means this will not work, right? So we are not going to use this. We are going to keep or use the first one, which is that 3 over 2 to the power of n is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Okay, so we go ahead and make use of that. So we have 3 over 2 raised to the power of n is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So let's introduce log to both sides of this equation. And the most, uh, the smartest way to go around this is find a way to cancel out whatever we have here and get n. And the only way to do that is if we introduce log to base 3 over 2. Do you understand? Now let's do this together. Okay, let's use this side of the board. Let's use the side of the board. All right. Now this is what we have. That 3 over 2 raised to the power of n is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Okay. All right. Now, like I said, we are going to introduce log to base 3 over 2, okay, of 3 over 2 to the power of n. 3 over 2 to the power of n is equal to log to base 3 over 2 of what? 1 plus root 5 over 2. All right. Now, recall the law of log reading. The law of log reading that states that log a raised to the power of b is the same thing as b log a right using the power rule now we are going to use that here if we do that to this side of the equation this power will come to the back and then multiply log base 3 over 2 of what 3 over 2 is equal to log to base 3 over 2 of what 1 plus root 5 over 2. All right. Now, there is this law of log reading as well. This law of log reading that states that log 
a log to base a of a is equal to one okay and we have something similar here log base um log three over two of three over two okay now that means that this is what one so what we have here now is n multiplied by one okay is equal to log to base three over two of one plus root five over two this is one plus one plus root five over two so that implies that our n is equal to log base three over two of what one plus root five over two and this is the solution thank you so much for watching have a bright day bye